welcome to my channel in this video i will show you what in my tag box i go to dog show uh, once a month usually i only have one dog um, and you might ask me why i need such a big tag box if i only have one dog and it's especially my dog is smooth so she doesn't need much grooming but i always care some extra stuff because i'm just in case person I will show you closer just in a minute. Okay, here's the how box looks. It's a cover. My friend made this cover for me. It has it's a custom made, so it's have two pockets on the front with the zippers. Two pockets on the back without zippers for extra storage. I love extra storage and I asked her to make it for me and and on the side of this cover, place for handles, so it's an open part, so you can hold it on the handles. And on the top, it's an opening for top handle. So zippers on the side. Let's flip up like this. And that's my tuck box. This is Chris Christensen Diff Flight, uh, 400 series. It's a medium size. I was looking on a smaller, was too small for me, and a bigger, too big for me. Because I only have right now one dog, but I'm just started, and I'm sure I will have in future more dogs, and I need more stuff. People who go on the dog shows, you may see these boxes around a lot. They all like scratched, but my uh, pretty new so it's not too bad yet uh, that's why I asked my friend to make me cover so to just keep it in a decent shape and on the top it's a, the little metal piece I put all my resco bits in there usually I use this one and I bought a new one for my puppy with the wider part for the neck okay here's my top part of the tuck box here's my shears you saw that shears probably in my if you watch some other videos on my channel you might saw the shears in my cleaning video so i show how i clean and oil my uh, shears i like to keep everything organized that way i can find it faster and I like to keep stuff in a pouch just like this if I can. This is my raking knives. It's a greyhound and some other raking knives. A few type of combs. This is fully comb. I bought this in a pet store. I really want one with old metal. I saw my friend has that, but I think she had it was like a long time ago. She bought a long time ago, and I don't know what, if you guys know where to buy the old metal one. Let me know please, in the comments. And this is like my brushes. So this is chuck brush, small one. This is the chuck brush, bigger one. This is my Brussels Griffon boar hair brush. And this is Chris Christensen's stick brush. And here is the inside part. So my has two drawers and other uh, just empty space. Let me show you what they have here. Uh, first I will show you what they have in the empty space. But all my containers from container store. I like to be, like I said, I like to be organized. We'll start from important stuff. This is alcohol. Alcohol we need for everything. Alcohol, it's a multi-purpose um, product. We use alcohol for everything. Uh, this product is Shine For Sure by Chris Christensen. This product actually I use with the slicker brush for my smooth brussel griffon. I just spray a little bit on the brush and use it on her coat to make it shiny. Uh, this containers, it's um, 
playable battles I bought in container store as well. It's a show no rain stain remover. Uh, this product I bought a while ago and they not sell it anymore fortunately. Uh, but it's very good uh, product for the dog face area around the nose. I have Brussels Griffon, it's a uh, flat face and it's got dirty with the nose. This is show of no rinse shampoo it's by Chris Christensen. The, I have uh, this product in a big container uh, in my grooming room and this one is hydrogen peroxide because we all need that too so if you cut yourself or you cut your dog by accident that will help. This is ear product uh, in a small container, the bigger container also in my grooming room. It's a very good con uh, product, I like it so much. So this is mini uh, bottle of Miracle Moisture Shampoo by Kirsch Christensen. This is my old favorite aisle of dog number 62. It's uh, evening primrose oil conditioner. It's a spray for the coat. Um, if the dog has dry coat, for example, uh, and also it's a smell very good. In this container I keep chalk. It's winner circle, Cody Brown. It's sell in a plastic container, but I like when it's in a flat box. The chalk I keep in a ziplock because this box doesn't hold the chalk very well, so it will spread around everywhere so I just put in a ziplock take it out of ziplock when I need to use it put in a container use it and put it back but I don't use it much on my dog because my dog has very good pigmentation and usually red on red shampoo by Chris Christensen helps if she has some faded color on her rares or on her chest and this one it's uh, Chris Christensen chalk stick it's a black. Uh, I use it once when uh, I by accident cut the hair um, on my puppy face because I was trimming her whiskers with clipper and I cut a little bit of the hair so it was a little spot. Chuck helper with that product first and put the chuck after. Apron <laughs> and this is just bandages. So on the top drawer I keep my mini Arco charger for that. Wow, clipper oil. This product lost a uh, label, so it's a uh, acclimate, I believe it's called. It's for dogs to calm them down when the dog show, when they go nervous. So you just put a little bit of that product on the dog nose 30 minutes before you go on the ring, and it helps to calm their nerves. I wish they made something for people like this because I get very nervous when I go to dog shows. This little mints. People who show dogs probably know why we need to mints. Mints, you know, the people like breathe out adrenaline and the dogs can send that. And mints help to block the smell. It doesn't help 100%, of course, but it helps a little bit. And this just. Uh, needle holder. I got this long time ago when I went to the vet school in Russia. Um, it just, you know, I don't use it, just just here. Uh, this is good wipes if you have stain. It's very helpful if you put it by accident, spill coffee on you, on your suit and you need to go to the ring, so you just wipe it and you go, you're good to go. This is few things I usually take with me, that's a number holder. Um, that's an artist in Russia, we'll give you a link to her website. That's actually her daughter made that. And um, this my little hula. And this is necklace, like a pendle. Um, yeah, so I can, I can, I will put the link down in the description box so you can see her work. Just the pen, pencil, nothing excited, the gloves and of course we need flashlight and this is my junk drawer we all have junk drawers in our house and I have junk drawer in my tuck box as well so this box more for medications I keep some medication for my dog it is good for dogs in heat so it's blocked the smell um, by I bought this uh, nature pharmacy 
this is just antiseptic, gloves, sleepy bags, some bandage, Benadryl, probiotic based, pink stuff for diarrhea, and this is cooling vest. And this little Merry Christmas uh, container I got from craft store. And I keep my Q-tips, some pads, just clean my dog face, just some, you know, small stuff. That was my dog box. If you have guys any questions or you want to know brands of my tools or some other products I show you, comment below. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.